Well, in Niagara Falls, businesses there are hoping the easing of restrictions draws more people to Clifton Hill. But as Kelly Botello tells us, the local medical officer health urging businesses to keep checking for proof of vaccination. Those out enjoying the sights and sounds of Clifton Hill in Niagara Falls say they are happy they don't have to show proof of vaccination at most places anymore. Shouldn't be preventing people from enjoying life and, you know, it's time to move on. Very happy to don't have to show my passport. Very happy about that. I'm super happy because, like, I feel like passport is something that uh, should not be implemented, never. Great. I mean, it's about time. And the restaurants who have struggled for the last two years are relieved too. It's great. I mean, we're back in business, uh, back in full business. A uh, little bit easier for our, our guests and our staff, and yeah, it's going to be good. Other restaurant owners say having to check proof of vaccination was sometimes problematic. Even if they were vaccinated, they still used to get angry on us, like why we need to show vaccine IDs and everything. Yep. While many restaurants are happy to see the vaccine passport system go, Niagara Public Health is urging businesses to keep checking proof of vaccination. Writing in a statement today, Public Health strongly recommends that organizations maintain proof of vaccination and employee vaccination policies. And going one step further, Niagara's Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Mustafi Hirji, is calling on the province to add booster doses to the definition of fully vaccinated. Well, it makes it tough. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to second guess uh, Dr. Hirji's uh, thoughts on, on the matter. Uh, it's too soon to tell, I think. For now, many are just happy they don't have to show proof or ask for it. Kelly Vitello, CHCH News.